a passive $20 million a year income, a failed spinoff, and a short-lived marriage? No one told Friends actor Matt LeBlanc life was gonna be this way. If it was not for Matt LeBlanc, there is a good chance that the role of Joey Tribbiani would have ended up markedly different. On an episode of The Write On Podcast, co-creator Marta Kaufman shared that when LeBlanc joined the Friends cast, he shaped the character's personality in a big way, explaining, We didn't originally intend for Joey to be stupid, but Matt LeBlanc played stupid so well that it became part of it. It became part of the character. Evidently, LeBlanc played stupid too well. So much so, some people apparently assume he was not acting on the sitcom. As LeBlanc once shared with talk show host Frederick Scavlin. Because of the character I played on Friends, people a lot of times will talk to me slowly. <laughs> they, you know, they want to make sure I understand what they're saying. And While this could be frustrating, LeBlanc seems to have found the silver linings in these assumptions about his intelligence, sharing, I always get a kick out of that because I feel like I have the advantage in any conversation. By the time Friends ended, LeBlanc and his co-stars were some of the biggest names on the planet, each raking in $1 million per episode. Suffice to say, it was a once-in-a-lifetime gig, and LeBlanc recognizes that, once telling The Telegraph, I never wanted to run from Joey. I'm proud of him, not ashamed. He changed my life. During an actor's roundtable for The Hollywood Reporter, LeBlanc admitted he was not in favor of pulling the plug on the hit sitcom in the first place, saying, I didn't want to stop doing it. It, it had become the literally the greatest gig in the world. <laughs> but it was, you know, it was a group decision. The character of Joey on Friends was a success of epic proportions, but Matt LeBlanc was unable to find his footing by playing the same character in the spin-off show, Joey. The pressure was incre incredible. Yeah, it was so, be, like, mm -hmm. there was just no way. It, was, yeah. it, it couldn't perform like Friends did. So, yeah. As TV Insider recounted, after a mediocre first season, NBC only invested in 13 episodes for season two before yanking it off the air entirely. They made another attempt to gain traction with the show in March 2006, but officially pulled it from the network when the return the return episode only snagged 4 million viewers, which reflected a severe drop when compared to the 18.5 million viewers that tuned in to the series' premiere of the show. Though Joey did not take off like its predecessor, it was still good to its star. As LeBlanc told The Guardian, I made a f***ing load of money, so call it a failure all you want. Thanks to the immense popularity of Friends, LeBlanc became a global superstar, a household name who could no longer step out in public without drawing a crowd. On a 2020 episode of The Kelly Clarkson Show, LeBlanc recounted one Friends mania moment in particular that stuck with him. While watching the news one day, there was a random report on each of the cast members' respective houses. There was no information and no news, really, yeah. just showing the houses. And I remember looking close at my house and thinking, I need a new roof. After Friends and spin-off series Joey came to a close, LeBlanc took a much-needed break from acting, sharing in a roundtable for The Hollywood Reporter, I want to take at least a year to not do anything, and that turned into six years. I was enjoying myself. He went on to say he was very happy during his time off and cherished spending time at home with his daughter, Marina. Having a sitcom megastar for a dad sure has its perks, but that is not to say the sky's the limit when it comes to things like birthday requests. In 2016, LeBlanc told people that his daughter wanted him to use his connections to invite Rihanna to attend her birthday party. In response to the request, he told the outlet, I was like, I'll get right on that, sure. In 2011, he made his return to the small screen with the series episodes, and followed that with Top Gear and Man with a Plan. Dipping out from the sitcom scene for a while certainly didn't affect Matt LeBlanc's wallet. The work LeBlanc put into Friends continued to generate huge profit for the actor well after the show went off the air. In 2015, USA Today reported that Friends reruns continued to generate $1 billion a year for Warner Brothers, a full decade after the show ended. Each of the cast members was reportedly earning 2% of the profits during syndication, which equated to $20 million a year. Friends continued to rerun and was eventually released on Netflix, which added even more money to LeBlanc's ever-growing fortune. In May 2021, LeBlanc reunited with his former castmates for the Friends reunion, and Variety reported that each of them apparently earned $2.5 million for the one-night special. According to Celebrity Net Worth, LeBlanc has amassed a mind-blowing net worth of $85 million. Not bad for a guy who, as co-creator Marta Kaufman shared on HBO's Friends reunion special, only had $11 to his name when he tried out for the part. On a 2019 episode of The Tonight Show, Matt LeBlanc shared that he's not one to flip on an old episode of his beloved television show. I have a hard time watching it these days. No. Yeah, because it makes me feel like I'm 100 years old. <laughs> <laughs>
All that aside, LeBlanc holds the memories of making the series near and dear, saying, It was a blast. I tell you, we had a good time. It was pretty fun. LeBlanc isn't the only one that doesn't binge-watch Friends reruns like so many of his fans do. In fact, some of his co-stars not only don't make a habit of revisiting the show, but are pretty fuzzy on the show in general. Both Courtney Cox and Lisa Kudrow have said they don't really remember filming episodes and haven't even seen all of them. Matt LeBlanc and his then-wife Melissa McKnight welcomed a baby girl named Marina to the world in 2004. According to The Mirror, when Marina was still learning to crawl, she was diagnosed with cortical dysplasia. According to Children's Health, cortical dysplasia occurs before a child is born when developing brain cells or neurons fail to reach the parts of the brain for which they are genetically destined. This condition is one of the most common causes of epilepsy and seizures. According to the outlet, Marina's condition improved when she was still a baby. LeBlanc also said someone who was in the family's inner circle apparently sold information about his daughter's condition to the press. Understandably, the actor was not happy that this was made public without his approval, but he managed to rein in his response, saying, "...if someone messes with your infant child, that instinct is very hard to suppress. I chose wisely. Nobody got hurt." A night out with friends at a strip club torpedoed Matt LeBlanc and Melissa McKnight's relationship. In a 2005 interview with the National Enquirer, the Friends star recounted the highly publicized incident, saying, "...the stripper was all over me. I acted like a fool in allowing myself to be led astray and placed in such a horrible situation, and I feel ashamed." In spite of his admission of guilt, LeBlanc was not able to salvage his relationship and his personal life quickly began to unravel, telling the outlet, "...as a family man, I've asked myself how could I have been so stupid and naive to get myself into such a situation with a stripper?" It was LeBlanc himself who filed for divorce from McKnight in March 2006, citing irreconcilable differences. Details of the divorce were finalized in September of that year. Matt LeBlanc's character on Friends was quite the ladies' man, and after rising to fame on the hit sitcom, the actor garnered the same reputation in real life. What's up, Joey? How you doing? As noted by The Mirror, LeBlanc has an extensive dating history and has been linked to a number of high-profile women over the years, including Minnie Driver, Kate Hudson, and Brandi Glanville. In 2003, he married model Melissa McKnight, but their marriage came to an end just a few years later. According to E! News, after his marriage to McKnight ended, he went on to date Andrea Anders, his co-star from the spin-off show Joey. Their relationship flourished for years, and the two ended up staying together until 2015. That's not to say it wasn't messy. In 2010, LeBlanc met British actor Holly McGrath on the set of episodes, and the two supposedly became romantically involved while he was still in a relationship. According to the Daily Mail, McGrath claimed LeBlanc said his relationship with Anders was, quote, on and off. According to The Sun, LeBlanc met television producer Aurora Mulligan on the set of Top Gear, and the couple dated for almost six years before breaking up in February 2022. It was no secret to fans that the co-stars of Friends were also very good friends in real life. During an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Matt LeBlanc gushed about how happy he was during his reign as Joey on the show, saying, "...it was a great time. It was a big, huge family. It was fun." The behind-the-scenes dynamic on the reality series Top Gear was a different story. After sexual misconduct allegations were made against his co-host, Chris Evans, LeBlanc told The Times, "...I didn't realize I'd be stepping into the middle of a media sh storm." Evans soon parted ways with the series, and according to The Guardian, there were reports about LeBlanc supposedly telling the show he would leave if Evans didn't get the boot. Evans maintained this was not the case. Of Evans, LeBlanc told The Times, "...I didn't know he was leaving. I get along fine with the guy." According to the BBC, the charges against Evans were eventually dropped, and LeBlanc remained presenter until 2019.